Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Evan, and tonight's another exciting cold flow challenge at negative 50 degrees Celsius below zero. We got our red line, 75W140. Gear Oil, this is their full synthetic versus AMS Oil 100% synthetic. This is the Severe Gear GL5 specifications, both the same. Let's do it, here we go. Negative 53.2. Negative 54.4. Let's do it. All right, if you enjoy this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel, and uh, there's a lot of resources and time that go into making these videos, and it means the world if you can share the video. Share this with a friend that's new to taking care of their vehicle, doing all their own maintenance. Well, let's take a look at the behind the scenes footage. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Now for the old stick in the mud test. We got our regular old flathead screwdriver. That's gonna be our stick. Wow, this mud is thick. I'm actually forcing it in. And there's rock bottom right there. We got another stick in the mud. I'm gonna yank the stick in the mud. And now it's time to do a little cold flow test. It's been about five minutes. Negative 35, negative 40. And now for the behind the scenes footage, we got the price. Our red line GL5 75140 full synthetic is only $19.95. We got our red line 75W140 GL5 full synthetic. And I've heard a lot of good things about red line over the years. So we'll give you our up close crack. We got our little top. We just taco the tip, push in, peel, straight up get that little taco 
<clears throat> now all we do is just whoop, pop her off. Now we dump in our red line. <clears throat> and if you didn't see, we just tested the red line versus AMS oil, but the 75W90 weight and the 90 weight is the most common. This is the weight that goes in a lot of tow trucks uh, diesel trucks, the rear diff takes the 140 weight. And what that is, that's the viscosity at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what they call operating temperature. And that's also 100 degrees Celsius. So at 212, this thins out quite a bit. At negative 50 degrees Celsius, it thickens quite a bit. So that's the interesting part about 100% synthetic. You have these molecules which this is 100% synthetic. So now we're gonna go ahead and give you our up close crack of our AMS oil. Now I already snipped the tip so we can actually shoot it. We'll have a little shooter today. The shooters are always fun. This is the 100% synthetic gear lube. And what makes this such a big deal is this was actually the very first synthetic gear lube ever. So AMS oil started by Al Amatuzio way back in 1972 they got their first synthetic motor oil a few years later they got their first synthetic transmission fluid atf fluid and then they also had their first synthetic gear lube and al actually pioneered the gear lube out at pike's peak back in 19 uh, late 60s with uh, bobby unser now if you don't know who bobby unser is bobby unser is the king of the hill and he is a 12-time pike's peak champion and uh Bobby Unser and the Unser family is one of the most winning families in racing. But before he used to use this, when this metal came together, he used to wear out these gears and bearings every few practice sessions he had to replace his differential. Well, when he switched to AMS oil after meeting Al, Al Amatuzio, the guy that started, he was able to go through all his practice sessions into race day, into the next year, all on the same uh, differential component. So that was a huge gain for them. And uh, this right here will, will allow your, your vehicle's diff to last exponentially longer because as the fluid oxidizes, it's actually called thermal runaway. And it's this, uh, this uh, chemical process where it gets hotter, becomes metal on metal, the heat exponentially increases. Before you know it, your whole differential explodes. So you don't want that. You wanna change out your gear lube I always recommend every 30 to 60,000 miles. And now we're gonna open this up. Sometimes you can peel it, but if not, you just poke it. So all I do is poke it straight in. And then what I do is I peel outward. So I just peel straight out, just like this. And that's it. And we don't have to get cute with it because we're gonna put our cap on anyways. So we're gonna put on our cute little squeeze cap. And what I love about the Easy Pack so much is it holds about 1,100 pounds, so it's super strong. And you got to be careful where you point this sucker. You can really shoot it. And on the one video I show how I shot this sucker, it shoots pretty good. But here we go. This, and I mentioned, this holds 1,100 pounds of pressure, so it's very strong. And now we'll give you a little shoot. So you have a lot of control with it. You can get into really tight spaces when you're squeezing in the gear lube. And uh, believe it or not, because of AMS oil does such good volume, they don't actually even charge more for the Easy Pack, which is great on this 75140. So we're gonna let that drain in. It's like pouring honey on pancakes. But yeah, it's just such a nice feature and uh, they came out with this about a year and a half ago, two years ago, really cool. And another nice thing is there's less mess. Uh, you're not shooting this gear all lube all over the place and the recycling space is a lot better. You have all these big things in the recycling. This, when you throw this away, it takes up almost no space. So it's just very economical and uh, it's very green friendly. And that's why I love the AMS oil lubricants because it saves so much gas. You have less parasitic drag because of the fluid dynamics and they flow better. Now I wanted to give you an example of what mineral oil would look like under a microscope. You got these refined molecules. They're all different sizes, different shapes. 
Where synthetic, you have almost the exact same shape. And uh, truly amazing the way synthetic is, it doesn't allow the carbon backbone to attach to it as easy. It doesn't allow it to sludge, thicken, and all these other, uh, these other hindrances that lose you fuel mileage, wear, and all that stuff. Now, this can actually burn very easy, and when it does, it'll turn into like a black uh, carbon molecule. Now, carbon's very hard, it's sharp, it's scratchy, basically wears out your differential. So when you have a higher amount of uh, mineral oil, you're gonna have a lot of scratching going on on your metal, and that's gonna wear out the component. So when you run the AMS oil, which is 100% synthetic, you have a big difference in drivetrain vibration. So when you actually switch your rear diff over to this, the AMS oil, you'll actually feel your actual whole uh, truck will actually run different. It's actually gonna run smoother. Between the trans and the rear diff on my Corvette, I got about 33% less vibration in the drivetrain. So that's just an idea. That's a manual Corvette with a rear diff. So just that, it's a huge difference. And now I also wanted to mention full synthetic, the name of that. So they can actually call a full synthetic full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic or more. So it's an actual gimmick where you think, man, well, full synthetic, it's gotta be all synthetic. And actually, it's not. So I wanted to give a little teeny weeny example of what I mean about that. This Tropicana, they call it a juice or whatever, and this is only 10% juice. And you'll see like a lot of other little fruit juices like this, they're only like 10, 20% juice. So you think you're getting all this fresh squeeze, 100% juice and you're not. So a lot of it's from concentrate and all this other stuff they add to it. So it's the same exact thing with motor oil, transmission fluid and gear lube. And that's what makes the AMS oil so different is they're all 100% synthetic. In the cryogenic freezer we go at negative 50 degrees Celsius. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go right on ahead and tap the subscribe button right here. And then you're gonna see this little bell. That's the notification bell. And what that does is it allows this to give you a little ring on your phone when I publish a new video. So when you do that, that will actually give you a notification. That way you can leave a comment on any of my videos within the first three hours and I randomly select people for the end of month giveaway. We give $100 gift cards away, all kinds of stuff. So we'll see you at the last Saturday of the month at the giveaway. And I know you all been wanting to see the Amsoil versus a lot of these Zero W16s. Now these right here are very popular on new vehicles. And you'll be surprised how much they charge for this viscosity. It's very interesting the way they do that. And uh, this actually comes in a lot of your little Toyotas, like a Honda Fit, um, your little teeny Camry, or whatever your really small Toyotas are. And Amsoil actually makes 100% synthetic that goes in those cars. So if you're new to the channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna wanna come back and see this versus that. We're also doing the Honda oil too. So uh, it's gonna be exciting. <clears throat> we'll see you back right here on synthetic oil protection if you want to see more cold flow click here if you want to see more on motor oil changes click over here and we'll see you back right here on synthetic oil protection cheers to protection 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 <laughs>